The day after Thanksgiving is also spent shopping for and even cutting down that perfect Christmas tree. Inventory has been a hot topic over the years, including last year's supply chain issues. The owner of a farm in Middleburg, which grows its own trees, tells on your size Tristan Hardy he's concerned about the future for a different reason. Whether it's big and tall or short and wide, Michael Songer believes there is a Christmas tree for any family. Sometimes a person will find an ugly tree and say, hey, that's my Charlie Brown tree. Songer's tree farm has been around for nearly 40 years. But at this point, his job isn't just work. It's a way of life. You don't know, you know how long I've got. And so I try and enjoy every day. Especially the day after Thanksgiving. It's opening day. People will line up outside his farm, waiting to cut down their own tree. Songer has sold hundreds of trees in his farm, and he's not really concerned about prices or inventory. In fact, he's expecting to sell out. Christmas trees across the country go in cycles. There are some years with excess trees and some years with shortage of trees. Uh, this year and last year has been a definitely shortage of trees. Fortunately, Songer's trees are planted on his Middleburg property, so he has plenty. He is, however, seeing a different kind of shortage. Many of the people that had Christmas tree farms have gotten old. And a kid just can't leave high school and go out and buy a farm. Songer says there aren't as many family-owned tree farms in Florida. But for now, he continues to plant his roots in a community that supported him over the years. Mainly it's a fun thing. You know, kids don't get a chance to go to a farm anymore. Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.